morning guys welcome back to another vlog today i'm going to be doing just a day in my life you know i'm so tired in the morning i'm not a morning person but my outfit of the day i don't know if you can see zara pants and this top i think is from zara as well it's just sage but it's currently three minutes to eight and i need to get going so yeah i'll see you guys at school and i hope you guys enjoy so I'm just at my class now and I'm about to finish putting up my Irish display. We're on to Bia, so I'm doing just all my Bia words. I get them off the Boon and Country program because that's what we do. I just have this sign to put up, Jip May, and then I've got loads of different things to put up. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. I changed my cam corner sign to you are important, you are amazing. And one of my kids brought me in this little cute poem. It's actually by Brezzy, but I thought it was cute for my cam corner. Before the kids come in, I'm going to get their mental mats put on their table so that they can start it as soon as they're finished pee because they pee first thing in the morning. So this is my schedule for today. I have my morning meeting where we do the days of the week over there and we also do our little affirmation mirror over there. Next they have PE with actually a coach that's coming in. Then they have mental maths at 10. Then we have lunch, Irish, we're doing BIA, then maths, just doing time at the moment. Then they have a little brain break. I do either a dance or a little quick game. Then we have religion. After big lunch, we have art where we're going to do all about perspective. And then if we have time, I might do dear time here and then home. Then I also have the visual timetable for them so they know what's on today. I'm not sure if I showed you this before, but here I put up like really good work, nice writing or nice stories. So I do amazing things happen here. So I tend to leave them up for like a week and then I take them down and glue them to this amazing worksheet and let them take them home to show their mums and dads. While the kids are out with their PE coach, I try and get their homework sheets ready for the following week and their spelling sheets. So that's what I'm doing now and I'm going to go to the printer and print them off. This is first class spelling sheet. They're doing R words and then second class are doing L blends. That's their spellings for next week. Ready to go. So it is home time and we actually have a staff meeting today. I thought I'd paint my face. We did art just before home time. And for art, we did these perspective drawings where the road was getting narrower the further back you went. We have a staff meeting now, so I don't want to be late. So I better go and I will talk to you guys after. So guys, I am home from school. I had my dinner. I actually just ended up having a big bowl of soup that I made at the start of the week and now I feel really full. I was going to have bolognese with potatoes, like crispy potatoes that I did in the oven, but I'm kind of full now so I might wait till after the gym. But I'm currently just having my dessert before my dinner. I'm having this protein yogurt, it's chocolate flavor. I got an Aldi and then I just put half a banana on top. And I've also got one of these little chocolate mallows. I always have to have like chocolate with a cup of tea. Like that's my treat. I'm gonna sit, I'm such a pain. I think I slept fully last night, you know, when you have a creak in the back here now. I'm gonna sit and watch a little bit of YouTube and get ready for my gym class when it's time to go. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I decided that I would vlog again today, seen as we had a staff meeting yesterday, so it's kind of rushed at home time. But I asked on my Instagram yesterday if anybody had any teacher questions, so I said I would answer them this morning when I get to school. If anyone ever has any teaching questions, don't be afraid to ask on the comments here or on my TikTok or just DM me on Instagram if you if you want to. But anyway, my outfit of the day. I've got my hair pinned back because it's greasy, so please don't mind it for the rest of the video. Um, I've got my Zara, literally all my pants are Zara and then my tops are a mix of like pennies, TK Maxx. I normally order them online on ASOS. I literally go to jumpers and then filter them by least expensive and just buy a bulk load of jumpers because 
they just get so ruined and so worn quickly. So yeah, that's a little advice for any teacher starting. Just go to the cheapest jumper section and then get loads of Zara trousers to mix and match. I sound so tired, I am so tired. <sighs> Early mornings just aren't my thing, but once I get up and go to scale, I'm fine. Does my puppy want her breakfast? Do you want some breakfast? Are you hungry? You're the best girl. <laughs> I'm literally obsessed with my dogs. So I am in school now. Sorry if it is a bit noisy in the background. I just turned the heat on and it's making noise, but the classroom is cold and I want it to be warm for when the kids get in. So I asked on my Instagram, I think I said that, for questions. So first question was, what types of things are you giving for homework? Example of their homework, I just do this homework sheet. And I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. So every day they have an independent reader, which they work on by themselves. I would give them a level, like level, let's say three, four, five, whatever. And then they gradually, they can read one a night, they can read one a week, they work at their own pace. And then we also have a spelling sheet. And I work the spelling sheet off the phonics that we're learning that week. And that's based off the books that we have. For example, this week, not this exact, not this week, but this week when we were doing this, I just stored them in my fortnightly folder. We were doing the E sound, so we're doing E, 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 A, and Y at the end of a word making the E sound. They have to do look, say, cover, write, check. And they just do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then on Friday, I'll do a little spelling test with them. It's not necessarily to check if they've learned their spellings. It's more so to get them into a routine of learning to be able to sit down and work quietly. Like just the test set up, because unfortunately in life, you just need to know that. And then Wednesday, they do maths, which is their operation maths book. So it's whatever we've been doing, probably from like the previous week or the previous two weeks, just so they're able for it. I also give them religion on the Thursday for the last night. It will just be based on a story that we did that week and it's normally talk about a time when you helped someone. Like it's always kind of related to their age and what they can do to be a better person, I guess. I've started adding in just a, a little bit more as the weeks go on. So I've now added in Boona Concha, a little bit of Irish. Boona Concha have made a home app, at home app for parents. And I just think it's good for the parents to know what we're learning in school, what Irish words we're learning. Maybe the children can talk about it with them or teach them. I know some parents might want a little bit of help on certain words that I mean, when you're out of school for a long time, you might not have as much of the Irish vocabulary as you used to. So it'll just be one lesson a week and it will just be a lesson we've already done so the kids are familiar with it. But yeah, that's the majority of what I give them for homework. I think homework should be, for my age, it should be about 30 minutes a night. Next question was, how good do you have to be at Irish to become a primary school teacher? So for me, I sound like the guy from the corn TikTok for me. Um, I went to the Gaelic since I was 12, so I actually was really good at Irish and I studied Irish in my first degree. I did Irish and translation studies. But I think you just have to have a C1 in Irish. Sorry, Leaving Cert is different now, but we had to have a higher level C1 to get into primary school teaching. There are other ways. I think you can study Irish, do a diploma, and I think that's a year's course in Galway to get your level of Irish for teaching. You definitely have to be confident in speaking Irish to be able to teach Irish, because if you're not confident, then it's kind of hard to make the kids feel confident in speaking it. So I encourage Irish all the time in school. I give out dojo points if they're speaking Irish outside of the Irish lesson, or if they try and put words that we've learned into a sentence. But if you're in school, secondary school, go to the Gaelic. I know it does cost a lot of money. It's definitely worth the investment if you know you want to be a primary school teacher. I definitely recommend it. You learn more than just Irish. What do you talk about in the staff room? So honestly, we probably just talk a lot about school. <laughs> We're all teachers and no matter how much we try and say like, no talking about school, no talking about blah, blah, lessons or whatever, we always end up talking about it even a little bit. 
um, I think it's good to share your ideas and share your what you're going through or what has happened or just things about lessons that you've learned or yeah I mean that's how you learn from each other as well so we kind of talk about that and then just what we did for the weekend general chit chat that's about it and then this girl said love your page thank you you're so kind and uh, do you get reimbursed for anything you buy for your class or students so yeah I do get reimbursed we have a certain budget obviously you can't just spend unlimited amounts of money um, but I kind of do it where anything that the kids are going to use like say treats or prizes or play-doh and stuff like that I will bring in a receipt and get my money back for those but anything like say I bought that cam corner chair I got off adverts it wasn't even expensive but anything that I use to decorate the classroom like picture frames or rugs all of that I buy myself because I just take it on to my next class anything that I don't get reimbursed for it's just my stuff if that makes sense that was all my questions and I don't want to ramble on for any longer because this is already 13 minutes and I'm gonna to have to cut it but if you do have any questions you can ask me on Instagram or here or TikTok and I will be happy to help or answer them. And also anybody that watches all of my videos, thank you so much if you come back every week because it means so much and I love making videos and I think this will always be my hobby. So yeah, I'm gonna go get ready for school because I've been talking for so long. I'm just back from school. Actually, I'm not back from school. I've had my dinner. I'm actually watching Married at First Sight. I think it's the final episode before the reunion to, that I'm watching right now. Um, it's always fun to see who actually gets married and who doesn't. It's a, like a binge-worthy series on Netflix. It's just addictive. Um, but yeah, I've got my hoodie on. It's so cold these days. But I'm just about to finish up this vlog. I want to edit it and put it up for you guys. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.